Storybook Brawl was nice enough to send me some dust codes, so I'm doing another giveaway. Stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can enter to win. New week, new code word. I loaded up the stream last week to play some Storybook Brawl 99, and this was one of my favorite games from that stream. And it's using Mordred, which I think is a hero that a lot of players write off. Definitely not the highest win rate hero, but Mordred definitely has the potential to do some absolutely crazy things, so that's what I set out to do in this game. I think we could win a lobby with Mordred. Definitely the um, stat-wise weakest of the heroes, but it has the highest high roll potential, so we'll go for Mordred. None of those other ones were particularly exciting either. I'm not picking Krampus or Miri. Mad Catter's just kind of random, just kind of whatever. Okay, 80. Not horrible. Not really seeing any names that I recognize either, so a lot of, um, a lot more casual lobbies than I'm used to. Get to play against Share Bear on turn two. That is wonderful. Let's do something like this, and we get the Black Cat. Cool, 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 cool. Black Cat's really good with Mordred because it synergizes with Mad Men in a nice way, though I guess it is a little bit awkward. I mean, we the, the thing here though is we do want to play summons most likely playing Mordred. So Black Cat, something that gets us off into that build path is pretty good. Do we want to pick up the pair of Minotaur? I think we will. I think we will lock onto that. It increases the power of the Black Cat. It, oh, you know what? Let's backline Cindy. Plays around Baby Dragon. Though we're playing up against Skip. Cool. Yeah, we're playing up against Skip on turn two even, so no way that they've got a Baby Dragon there. But... We do get to pick up a Mad Mim, so that's great, as well as a Labyrinth Minotaur. I don't think that this turn there is a great way to make use of Mordred. But starting next turn, now that we've got Mad Mim, we will be able to make use of Mordred. We'll, we'll be 45 health for a while on this one, I think. Uh, save Loki, doing some Loki things. That's always a possibility. It's level two. Yeah, I'm trying to think. You could use Mordred to kind of like play around Earthquake or something like that. That's kind of cheeky. But there's no reason to do so here that I can come up with. Yeah, this is, this is going to be the best lineup because uh, Loki can't have any spells at the moment. Any combat-related spells. They might have seven units. No, they just have an upgraded unit. I think we actually win this. Oh, that's a bad hit, but... Um, yeah, we tie. We tie. That's fine. Oh, we beat a Jack's Jumping Beans, too. We're quite strong. Okay, another support and a Vein Pyre. So I really want to pick up Wicked Witch plus Vainpire just for strength on the current board. In order to do that, I will have to sell off of Minotaur. But I think that's worth it. Again, not making use of Mordred here, but early on in the game, you just can't. Which I think is kind of the awkward drawback of Mordred. I mean, we certainly could, but the units that we would be making use of it with would be Labyrinth Minotaur, at which point we're shrinking these units. So if we had like Shadow Assassin, we could grab that and put that in our hand, but other options aren't going to make as much sense. We really wanted that to hit into the Black Cat. I mean, I think we're still okay here. No, we take, we take some damage. All right, 40 health Mordred time. Up against a Cursed King, that's going to happen. Debating just picking up Lucky. But I think with this free roll, we run it and see what we get. Grab a Golden Chicken. Okay. So now we potentially make use of Mad Mim. It's still a little bit awkward because we want Vainpire in position one. 
But if Minotaur or Cindy get attacked into, especially Cindy would be the best, then we do get to flop down a chicken in there. It's it's minor value, but, but value nonetheless. The roll was still probably more beneficial than picking up Lucky, which I can't imagine is really going to be on our board for too long. And the question is, is Fates at 33 because they're not strong or because they spent their early turns picking up mice? We shall find out. I, we're definitely a lot stronger, though, with the Queen of Hearts. So... Looks like they went for some Wizards Familiars. That denies our Slay, but ultimately we are still much stronger than them here. So it's going to get a kill, deny the Spinning Gold, and hit them for six. Let's grab another Golden Chicky. We do want to find Summon-related cards at some mun point. Unfortunately, those cards do not seem to be in the card. Z. Think about the implications of Brave Princess on Mordred. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting, right? You could just roll for Queen. Or black cat. This is free. I'll take vampire too. So it's very unlikely that Cindy gets to make. Oh, you know what we do here? We use black cat as our Mordred summon. That's cool. So now unless the Minotaur dies first, we are getting additional value out of uh, these summons. And we are still gonna get the Vainpire Slay, so that's great as well. And the second Black Cat won't be as strong, but Queen can clean it up. Queen of, or Clean of Hearts. Clean of Hearts. All right, level four. One more treasure activates Cindy. I do really like Medusa in general. And I'm also interested in Mummy, so I guess I'm picking up Luna's Grace here. All right, let's grab Medusa. If we, if we keep the Labyrinth Minotaur in our hand, that's going to be what summons. So that's a little bit silly. So I guess we just pick up Mummy as a speculative purchase to hang on to for a moment. If we also do this, we could we could hand the Mummy. Dancing Sword certainly looks to be a pickup here. Um, sure. Because I'm not trying to lose any combats right this second. Okay. Now I can play Mummy and Medusa still summons. Because it's got higher attack and higher level, I believe Mordred will prioritize Medusa. I'm not sure. Might be random. Nice, we get some slays with both of our Vainpires, and then Medusa's gonna come in and be quite large. Yeah, you're not you're not Krampus slaying me. <laughs> Though, would be funny for you to just have to take a uh, dancing sword. That would be pretty terrible. Okay. Definitely interested in Queen. Though, also interested in a hippo, despite not being in summons at all right now, that is where we're going, probably. 
and eventually we probably want to get a good boy or something too, so maybe it is worth trying to pivot a little bit into good stuff. I don't hate Queen for the potential treasure pickup though too later. Let's grab that. All right, another black cat is good, as well as another... So I'm almost doing this. I feel like something like this could actually be somewhat reasonable and we're just throwing in actually we're throwing in vainpire let's take some more damage to roll for more animals Get the Queen of Hearts triple, and then uh, we're going to be summoning Medusa this combat, which is totally fine here. We've got a lot of good targets. My opponent with a fully supported backline is definitely scary. Need that to hit on... Yeah, they hit on both of our payoff cards, which is super annoying. And uh, Medusa's not going to be enough. Ah, uh, that would have been... It was really, really close. We actually had a shot to win that one, but uh, yeah, ultimately... Medusa needed to do a lot of work for us in that one. Let's triple up on the queen, see where that gets us. So Sting is pretty good with Mordred. Treasure map's just good in general, though. Let's grab treasure map. And if we can grab Vampire and grab, like, Staff, that's pretty cool. Okay, we're grabbing XP. Now we can look for nine Sea Terrors, grab a Tier 7 treasure. Maybe do something powerful this game. I'm not worried about hippocampuses. We'll find some 9C terrors next turn. Mm, can't really do anything with uh, Lance here either. So far away from activating it. But I think the Queen of Hearts triple makes us strong enough that we can potentially win this combat. We do have a really high health trophy hunter. So this might be a little bit greedy, especially because we're just giving them so many targets for them to poop on here. But if we can dodge the mummies. Who did we play against last combat? Was that a Wonder Waddle? It's important to pay attention to like the names of the people that you play against in uh, 99 in a weird way, since the tracker doesn't work. All right, we get a sleigh. That's not bad. And then Medusa comes in and they do get the sleigh with the mummy. So it's going to be a little bit annoying, but Queen of Hearts is still alive. But Queen of Hearts is going to kill itself on the apple tree there. So that'll be all she wrote. We won't get the extra XP, but we only take 10 and we're level five here regardless. We could even become level six next turn. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Roll for nine sea terror. Roll for nine sea terror. We have a few more rolls for it. Okay, three big pigs are good. I have to do something like this. I think we sell Vainpire, so that way Medusa is still our summon. pumping up the hippo in case we decide that we do want to summon hippo later. But now we can start to look for bear stains and potentially translate into, er, translate. Transition, transition into something that works with uh, Mordred's hero power a little bit more than just running this Medusa out there. But interestingly, the Medusa is pretty good with this board because it will only summon in this position really ever. 
because if any of these units get attacked into, they're going to spawn for themselves. Um, hoping this is a big enough power spike this turn. So looking for Bear Stain, looking for Hercules, still picking up nine Sea Terrors. And what else are we looking for? Not sure. Not sure. All right. Medusa is going to get an attack in, and that cancels out the Court Wizard as well, which is cool. We are going to have to battle through these large uh, royals, though, eventually. Oh, oh, yeah, we kill Romeo before we kill Juliet. Awesome. Awesome. That is huge. That actually lets us win this combat. No, then we attack the... We triggered the Court Wizard again. Wow, we were 50-50 there at the end to actually just uh, get a... Maybe not a win, but uh, do pretty nice for ourselves. So trees have no synergy with Mordred. Lancelot is at least interesting because it builds towards the tier 7 treasure. But I don't think we can really afford to mess around with this stuff. Alright, there's the bear stain and another piggy. So we're definitely grabbing this. Should have cycled the golden chicken. I think I just cycle Golden Chicken and pick up three big pigs. And now pigs is what will summon off of Mordred. It'll be huge from Bear Stain. Pump up the Hippocampus. It's an unupgraded Hippocampus though. Yeah, this is awkward because we do need to transition into Good Boy now, theoretically, but all of our units are evil. We'll see. Um, I like picking up the pigs here though too, because this could build us into a tier seven treasure with a pigs triple. So this definitely has the potential to rock the lobby. So I, I do appreciate that. Here come my piggies. Some pig, huh? Okay, we want them to attack into these black cats first. Awesome. So that way my pigs have places to spawn. And we're going to get full summons, this one. Almost. We, we, we're one summon short of full summons. Pretty nice combat for us. Pretty nice. Okay. So bear stains, big pigs, not taking a black cat. Baby bear, quite cool. Though ultimately falls short, I think. Okay, okay. Tier 7 treasure, a baby bear, a knighthood for bear stain. This has got everything. This has got everything that we need. So Radiant Prism could be obviously really cool. Has some interesting synergies with Mordred and Bear Stain. <clears throat> Holy Grail. I think we can survive this turn. And then Holy Grail him. I think we can do that. And if we Holy Grail, we're just going to roll for trees and pivot out of this. Okay. So how do we become the strongest that we can be this turn? It's probably Baby Bear. Yeah, round table for Hippo's cute, but I think is ultimately just going to fall a little bit short. Oh, Black Prism plus Knighthood was an option, too. That's cute. A lot going on. I think I am going to grab Hercules. And then pick up Trees next turn. I'm just going to totally transition. <clears throat> We've got a huge... Pigs here, so this should be enough to get us through the turn. Awkwardly Summons is a horrible, horrible comp to run free Holy Grail, because we have to watch all of these summoning animations. But luckily the animations speed up now, eventually, so that will be able to get us to the Grail a little bit quicker. All right, tree time.
picking up a pair of pumpkins. Shoot, the Robin Wood in my hand, or the Lancelot in my hand, is going to summon, not the upgraded good boy. Shoot, that actually kills me? Wow, that sucks. That absolutely sucks. Do I have enough health to survive here? No, I don't. Wow. Okay, Robin Wood hit Robin Wood. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Wow, I have just enough health to survive. I totally, totally messed that up. Uh, Pandora's box over, shoot, this Pandora's box is way too late here. Um, let's toss the owls. Let's grab this. Shoot, 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 shoot. All right, this good boy is at least summoning now. But that's frustrating. Now we're seeing all of this tree stuff. So now we really just need to find Mirror Mirror. I have to sell off this pumpkin. All right, let's do that right now. All right, I kind of came up with an idea halfway through the um, the Holy Grail because we were just not finding any trees. But the idea here now is this good boy dies, this good boy summons in, it gets a whole bunch of additional stats from these bear stains, and this good boy pumps up everything else, makes the Echo Wood huge, and we win. From there, we will really want Radiant Prism, we probably want... We'll get another treasure off Hercules this turn. Question is, is this going to be strong enough? Are we facing up against a Radiant Prism on the other side? No. Okay, we win. This is an easy one. So we've got a 100 good boy. That's going to give plus 200, plus 200 to everything else that we have. I guess we might not actually get the Herc treasure here. That is a little bit awkward. My opponent is taking their sweet time killing this good boy. But... Uh, yeah, we won't get the Herc treasure. That's a little bit awkward. But now Good Boy will pump up all of these bear stains and we'll win the combat. We'll get the Pandora's box. We'll get the Herc treasure next turn. We do want to Beauty's Influence, our existing Good Boy. <laughs> Battle of Wits. Okay, nice. And we did get Radiant Prism. We did get Radiant Prism. So from here... We probably just want to cast Sugar and Spice because it's a cheap enough spell. Pick up Lordy. Roll. And we will have to sell Lancelot here. <laughs> Very fun. Have fun, Clary. Okay, I definitely want an Echo Wood. I'd have to sell three things to pick up Echo Wood, so that's not happening this turn. We will get the Hercules treasure this turn, so that's really good. If I sell Robin Wood, Lancelot. I 
Yeah, I'm selling off the Lance a lot. I'm just debating if I want to sell Robin Wood and Lance and Bear Stain to pick up Echo Wood. And I think the answer is yes. This leaves me without a ranged unit. And leaves me down a Bear Stain. So I'm going to have slightly less stats, but... And slightly less stats on the Lordy. I meant to unlock that shop. Oh well. We still get an absolutely massive good boy, and then this good boy pumps this one. So it's going to be enough because the good boys pump the Echo Woods now too, because the Echo Woods are good units. So bearing a scam, which my opponent doesn't have, this is going to be a, a ton of stats here. 1,000 Echo Woods. My opponent did put some nice stuff together, but our board's just a little bit stronger here with Radiant Prism. And uh, like I said, yeah, I shouldn't have locked that shop. But we get a tier 6 treasure this turn. Mimic Chest does not really work. Phoenix Feather does a little bit. You know what, Mimic, let's just take Mimic. We get to triple cast anything off Wand of Weirding, we find. Oh, we're one, we're one, oh, we can sell off Hercules. Okay. That's just a ton of stats on the good boy. Um, yeah, yeah, now we're getting, now we're getting what feels like a, a Horde Dragon game for sure. With, uh, grabbing the Radiant Prism. Who are we battling? We are battling the Lobby Leader, so... Time to find out if we are the Lobby Leader. Now, the next step in this is going to re be to replace Wand of Weirding with Ninth Book of Merlin. If we can do that, that's the Exodia comp. At that point, it becomes really, really tough to take us down. And my opponent on Hatball, I think that's good news for us. I think that's great news. Good Boy's gonna come in massively, give a bunch of stats to everything else. Now, my opponent does have more ranged units, but we have more units with over a thousand health. So let's see how this one works out. That is gonna be a win against the lobby leader. Nice, love to see it, love to see it. Burning Tree is a bunch of stats. That's hard to turn down, let's do that. Burning Tree, spells go on the good boy. If we find Beauty's Influence, we gotta cast that up against the lobby leader again. I'm locking for Beauties, otherwise rolling for Echoes. Court Wizards are cute too, but I think we might actually be past them a little bit because we are on good trees. Oh, Radiant Prison means we don't need Beauty's Influence. We don't need Beauty's Influence. Okay, get that out of your brain. All we need to do is find a triple and find the Ninth Book of Merlin. Get the Exodia comp, win Storybook Brawl 99. 11 players left in the lobby, feeling quite strong. Good Boy summons in massively huge. We're locking for Lucky Coin that gives us three extra gold next turn. And I will purchase any pair of any of these units or Echo Wood. I have not yet decided if I will purchase a pair for Bear Sting. That one's trickier. Evil Twin, also insane. Wow, Evil Twin just immediately triples a unit. It gives us three copies of any unit we click on. What would I click? Would I click Good Boy? That's tough. You know what? It's actually better to have my Lordy die first now. Yeah, I gotta... So now my Good Boys can pump each other because I've got Radiant Prism. That good boy pumps the second good boy. My opponent has mirror, mirror, but no ninth book. I think this is a win. We just have to avoid the scams, avoid the Noid here. 
with the scams on these monster books, and I think we've done it. Yeah, we've got Echo Woods in the three Ks. That's pretty good. Whoo, baby, this is a game. This is a game, even if we lose at this point. This is why I love Storybook Brawl 99. You're just doing so many over-the-top things compared to a normal game. Okay, Evil Twin. Let's see it. Let's see. Show me Evil Twin. It's not bad. Don't need more attack. I would, I would settle for a spell that gives more health. We can triple cast a fog against a pan shadow. Not super exciting. Don't need more attack. Like I said, might settle for more health in the end here. Now let's just roll down. Ooh, lucky coin. Okay, we could still find some more lucky coins into Evil Twin. Mmm, two different pairs. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Two different pairs. So we actually want to be leading like this. I think these are some of the more, or some of the lesser exciting ones. I'd actually consider Lordy before I consider Ashwood. If we pick up both, that's my entire next turn though. I don't think I can do it. Okay, this is great. This is actually a great roll. A triple, to be able to give this 21 additional health is quite huge because that's gonna triple up on the bear stain um, and then is going to sex tuple up on everything else because it'll it'll throw double the stats maybe even more maybe even 12 times the stats so yeah that amount of health goes a long long way and wow they scam my good boy just off the monster book that is gonna kill me wow what a scam what a scam they had one monster book no Ninth Book of Merlin, but you know what? That was still a really, really sweet game. Fortunately, we fell a little bit short. We still cracked into the top 10. Man, what a scam. What a scam. That was a fun one. That was a really fun one. That was sweet. Um, that'll, that'll definitely make its way up onto YouTube over there. Still hunting that Exodia game. I've come so close so many times for Exodia. Here's the details for my giveaway this week. Just leave a comment below that includes the word good on any of my videos. New week, new code word. And you'll be entered into a chance to win a 4000 dust code. The reason that I say to include the word that way I can differentiate between the people just leaving a comment and those that are actually interested in the dust to make sure that it goes to a person that will appreciate it. And there's no limit to how many times you can enter. You can go back and comment on some of my previous videos. I've been uploading daily storybook brawl videos for the past seven or eight months at this point. So I'm sure there is some sweet content that you have yet to see. And yeah, you can enter multiple times. I will do a new code next week. And the other thing that I wanted to say is that if a bunch of people enter, I will give away more codes. So that's just gonna be limited by how many people are entering and how many people are commenting. Let's get this channel to over 1,000. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'm no Lex Given. Peace.